Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my shop. This is Chuck, outside Screwball, and uh, you're here for uh, Tuesday Tits number eight. And uh, well, I guess I got some good news, bad news. I'm always a good news, bad news guy, if you've noticed in my videos. Well, the good news is my truck is back together and I don't have any leaks. Well, I guess that's good news, because I can't get it started. That's the bad news. <laughs> so there's no leaks because the son bitch don't run. Uh, I'm in a quandary right now. This is uh, Saturday. I got all put back together. Went to hit the uh, start button and uh, got nothing. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's the uh, neutral safety switch on the side of the transmission. Uh, I've replaced that and uh, I'm still having issues with it here on Sunday. I've only had a little bit of time to work on it. So, don't know if, uh, if uh, I'll get it uh, done and running before uh, the Tuesday publication of this. If I do, there will be a highlight uh, added to this video. Otherwise, uh, this is going to be one of the longest uh, ongoing sagas. Uh, maybe longer, uh, it, won't, it won't be as long as Adam's welding table, but it's going to get there, I think. So, uh, good news, no leaks yet. Uh, bad news is, won't start. Altogether, it went to, went back together well, and uh, I'm going to show you a video of uh, making the uh, alignment tool for the back motor plate uh, for installing the seal, and uh, we'll have some other fun in this video. Uh, I got some other things I'd like to show and uh, discuss. Uh, just want to say uh, thank you to everybody that uh, commented in the last video, um, put up with my moaning, and. Uh, you see, I'm getting healthier now. My spirits are up, and uh, just gonna get. I'm gonna get the thing running. It, it will happen. But again, thank you to everybody that uh, was commiserated with me and/or kicked my ass to say quit whining. All right, uh, be back with you. And uh, my buddy just came in. Oh, gotta hit this. Gotta hit the camera. Come up here. Come up here and say hello to everybody. There he is, the big Howard. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll be back. Come on, Okay, well, this is uh, Tuesday night right now. Tuesday tits number seven is already uh, released and on the air. So I need to open up this center hole to 3.8583. So we'll start off with a drill bit. It's just a touch under uh, 6364, so I think is what it is. Just grabbed it off the rack. And uh, we'll pop a hole in there, and then uh, we'll uh, keep moving on. Let's get a bigger drill bit in there. Okay, that was a 63-64. Uh, so let's kick it up a notch. Need to put an adapter in my uh, tailstock. And 
Let's kick it up to a uh, two inch, see what kind of damage we can do there. slow it down a hair. Okay, drop it into back gear and uh, see if it likes it a little better. Hey, glad I'm drilling uh, Delver in there. Got a two inch hole. I'll keep on moving on. Well, I just uh, put this boring bar set up in here and I've got a piece of, uh, oh, what is this? A little H beam that I use for setup. 2.700 is center. And uh, just looking at it, it looked high and I'm high by about uh, 200 thousandths. Um, so, Going to get this uh, boring bit set up and uh, we'll get to uh, punching the hole out a little bigger. So my closing lathe here has a uh, kick out for the, for the uh, feed. So I'm going to uh, set that and uh, don't use it that often but uh, we're going to play with it here tonight and see if it will kick out for the uh, depth of feed as uh, we're doing the machining here. So I'll get that set up and we'll be back. So we're going to make another hundred thousandths cut. And I got an assistant in here tonight. My grandson Brady's helping me. Okay, Brady, go ahead and engage the lathe, and we're going to make 100 thousandths pass. Yeah, it's almost like snow, huh? You went to the snow race yeah. just the other day. You ate some snow? Yeah, and we ate it. You did? Yeah, you know hard snow, hard snow, you can eat soft snow, not good. Oh. Hard snow. I heard you hit your dad with a snowball. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you did. You know, we don't need to set the snowball snow with it. And we don't even need to do construction. Okay, we got the lathe to kick out, and we're machining. Okay, we'll try 200,000's pass. Should be simple in Delrin. Okay, want to engage it, Brady? Go ahead. Go, Jenna, go! Watch out! There it goes. Let's see what it does. Two, three, go! I think we can go bigger than 200,000's. We're only cutting plastic. Is that the pack? Nope. Yeah, that's plastic. Oh, 
going everywhere, huh? Even on Caleb. It is. Even on you. Nope, we got our safety glasses on, right? There it is. Kicked it out. We got lots of lots of snow there. Haha, -ha, teaching them right. Putting the work cleaning. We got a long way to go on the bore yet. He's got a lot of years ahead of him cleaning. Well, here's the uh, rear plate installed. And there's my alignment tool that's uh, lining the rear plate on the crankshaft. Fit nice, and uh, next will be uh, installed oil seal. Sorry for the jiggly hands here. Okay, well, the rear main seal is, <coughs> excuse me, is installed. And uh, I didn't have to use the uh, clutch aligning tool to draw it in. I just went ahead and used the uh, fixture that I made and tapped it in with a hammer and it's set uh, really nice. So now I just got to remember how to put everything else back together. On to uh, more work. Hey guys, well seems like everybody enjoyed the chicken parmesan so I thought I would uh, share with you a recipe for a salad that uh, was at one of my favorite restaurants that is closed and I was really bummed because uh, I really enjoyed the salad. It was a real simple salad and uh, but I managed to uh, copy it. it took me a while but I managed and part of it is just the dressing and it's a fairly simple dressing so uh, let me uh, let me run through it and uh, we will uh, put it together real quick uh, first thing is one clove of garlic pressed okay that's pretty simple we need um, one tablespoon of uh, Worcestershire sauce. An old joke, Worcestershire sauce got its name by somebody picked it up and said, what's this here sauce? Okay, <laughs> uh, we need uh, three tablespoons of uh, fresh lemon juice. So there's two. There's three. And we need a half cup, sorry for reaching in front of the camera there, half cup of mayonnaise. And light mayonnaise is okay, no problem with that. mayonnaise there and then we need a th third of a cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil okay we got all those together didn't have my other tool and then we uh, we whisk it all together and Oh boy, does that smell good. Pretty amazing, that lemon and the garlic. You mix those two together, you get a little olive oil smell with it. The Worcestershire sauce. What's this here sauce? Okay, so there is our salad dressing. So I'm going to let it uh, sit for a bit, incorporate a little better, give it a few more whisks. And uh, I'll plate the salad for you. All right, so we'll be back. Of course, you gotta check it. Oh, yeah.
Okay, we'll plate up the salad. So we'll take uh, some of the salad dressing. Go ahead and dress the lettuce. And we got, uh, throw a couple little tomatoes on there, and then some shrimp. And finish with a little, little ground pepper. There it is, and it's a great salad. Give it a try, you guys. Okay, guys. Um, well, let's uh, let's talk about scale holders first. Uh, I'm not going to show one this week, but uh, last week a couple guys got the correct. Here's a photo, full photo. back and uh, full photo is uh, Brooke Burke, uh, one of my favorites. But uh, let's have some fun now. Um, so got a little story, a little joke or a gag, some of the guys call it. Um, so there's this uh, pig farmer and uh, he was uh, he was really hurting for money, really having a hard time and uh, he only had uh, 10 pigs and he needed to get more pigs. And he was kind of in a quandary what to do, so he called the guy over on the next ranch that had a, quite a few pigs. And he talked about getting a stud pig to uh, increase his herd. Uh, and I don't know what the proper term is for a pig herd. There probably is one, but he wanted to increase his uh, number of pigs. And he talked to the guy, and the guy says, hey, he goes, well, a stud fee is at least $1,000. I should try. And there's no guarantee that the try will work. Guy says, man, he goes, I, I'm dying. He goes, I, I just have no money. I, I'm at a loss. I'm going to lose everything if I don't increase this amount of pigs I have so I can start turning some money. The guy says, well, he says, uh, there is another method. And the guy says, another method? And he goes, yeah. He says, uh, it's, I've heard that, you know, a human can mate with a pig and you can produce the pigs. And the guy goes, oh, you're full of crap. And the guy goes, no, seriously. I, I've read that in a scientific journal someplace. You, you know, you could try that. And the guy goes, ah, oh, you, you're screwing. Forget it. So he hangs up the phone. And the next morning, he's, you know, kicking around and he's going, what the hell am I going to do? And he says, well, maybe he wasn't screwing with me. So he loads the 10 pigs in the back of the pickup truck, takes them out in the woods, Gives them all a good going to. Comes back. He's exhausted. Goes to bed. Well, the next morning he wakes up and he uh, he uh, he asks the uh, he's trying to figure out how in the hell do I know if this even worked? And he says, well, he calls the guy. He goes, hey. He goes, uh, not that I would have tried this. He goes, but uh, okay. He goes, well, I did try it. He goes. How do I know if it took? And he goes, well, he goes, take a look at the pigs. He goes, if they're in the mud, he goes, it didn't take. He goes, if they're out in the dirt and the dust, he goes, it took. So he goes, where are the pigs? So he takes a look out the window and gets back on the phone and he goes, all the pigs are in the mud. He goes, well, he goes, you know, you just may have to do it again. The guy goes, oh my God, hangs up the phone. Next morning he gets up, he goes, well, I have no choice, I've got to try this. Loads all the pigs up, takes them out in the bushes again, gives all the pigs a good going to. Comes back, he's thrashed, he's filthy, he's exhausted, just doesn't even eat dinner, just falls into bed. 
Next morning, he, he's awakened by the phone ringing. And he's going, the phone? He picks up the phone. He goes, and it's the neighbor. The neighbor goes, hey. He goes, he goes, I can't wait to know. He goes, tell me, where are the pigs? He goes, are the pigs in the mud or in the dirt? He goes, hang on. He goes over to the window and he looks out. He comes back and he says, no, he goes, the pigs aren't in the mud. And he goes, the pigs aren't in the dirt either. The guy goes, what? He goes, where in the hell are the pigs? And he goes, well, nine of them are in the back of the pickup truck. And one of them's up in the front honking the horn. Hope you enjoyed.